Hello, Chief. This is Alexander again. Uh, first of all, I want to wish you a good year 2022, uh, mainly a good health and uh, a little bit of money because it's sometimes useful uh, this evening. And I hope uh, well, th this evening, this is, uh, this is the first uh, video of the year. I am. Um, I want to talk here about this uh, LED projector, which is uh, very efficient. And uh, it, com it comes from a buddy of mine, and uh, it works in the same enterprise of me. And um, sometimes he had uh, some power failure with this kind of uh, LED projector, despite the fact that is ha it has an uh, onboard battery, which is very handleable, very easy to handle, and uh, work with... Uh, for 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 area and dark area so you need this kind of device to work easily with a very high uh, uh, power source uh, of light because the light is very important when you're walking and sometimes you're walking on dark area so this device has sometimes uh, some failure because the battery inside can uh, can have some failure about duty or can be aged sometimes the the failure can, can it can comes from the age of the battery so uh, what i try to do about this uh, led projector is that it's so first of all it's very uh, powerful as you can see here and um, it's very powerful honestly it doesn't have uh, any button to tweak the light or the tweak the power of the light so uh, when you use it you have only one single power it's it's full power you have to manage with it so what i did to 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 make uh, the duty of this uh, device more durable is that i added some something like that which is a battery m m80 18 uh, support which uh, comes from uh, Thingiverse actually this is for those kind of battery here which is a uh, rechargeable uh, drill and uh, autonomous uh, drill and um, when you're working with this kind of device if you have a power failure on it you can put your battery on on it and you will have all the power of this battery going in this uh, LED projector. What you need to know first is that it need it need um, to charge the battery inside it need a 12 volt plug which is here okay you have here the outlet for the 12 volt for charging the battery inside but uh, if you forget to charge something or if someone else uh, was used this device and uh, and uh, didn't make it to recharge you will have a serious issue for to use it uh, on your uh, da daily walk actually so for this reason i add this uh, uh, this 3D, 3D printed it's, it's not uh, very nicely made but uh, we don't care it's uh, absolutely make the job because the printing was very quick uh, and uh, also I didn't I didn't care about the quality of this stuff the purpose was to to make it very quickly because uh, I haven't no time to, to make it also so you can use this uh, good battery because uh, it's, uh, it's it's been hold but uh, it's uh, still working and you put it like this when you put it like this you can see a light coming from the top of this uh, LED projector which indicates to you that, that this uh, this battery is connect, uh, the correctly connected inside on the electronic inside and from now if you switch on the LED projector it use only the energy coming from this battery so 
if I disconnect the battery here, you can see the LED will uh, switch off. Switch off and you can see the light blinking a little bit because it switch from this battery to the main board battery. If you redo the same thing, you can see the LED switching and you will have a blink, a very short blink because the relay inside is connected the, 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 the LED inside directly to this battery. Okay, you can see the relay is clicking. So now you are working with uh, this battery. Okay, the, uh, the perfect example will should be with a dead battery inside uh, for to show that uh, you can uh, switch on this uh, LED projector with this battery. But okay, it's it's it works. And okay. When you when you dis disconnect the battery, you have the, uh, a little relay inside with, with each is uh, it's uh, switching switching the circuit inside like there is no um, no modification inside. So like this, you have a normal projector. So as you can notice here. Uh, the battery inside is a 12 volt battery and this one is 18 volt battery so how it can be possible to make it uh, work working with uh, this voltage uh, meanwhile this is not the good voltage the same voltage inside so Let's dismount this one and I will show you inside how it works. Okay, let's see inside. So, what you can see here, this is the main battery, which is, which is a 12 volt battery. So, the voltage coming from this uh, battery holder, which uh, comes from uh, Thingiverse uh, comes from with uh, this, uh, those wire. Those wire, the the ground is connected to the main battery, and the positive is connected to this relay, which is a switch actually like that. And here on the on the toggle switch here, this is the circuit which is connected here. And when the battery is connected you will have automatically uh, the relay uh, supplied and it's switched like that. When it's switched like that, it's connected to the battery coming from the Milwaukee drill. And when you when you remove the, the battery inside, the relay will switch off. And when it will switch off, it connects the circuit directly uh, to the main battery. It's a very, very simple, very simple made. So, the little relay here is uh, 24 volts because because uh, because when you're plugging when you plug the battery here the relay is always uh, powered is al always connected to the to this battery it's uh, help to switch from one battery to another so when the battery is connected on the back the relay connect the circuit directly to this one. When you remove the, this battery, the relay will switch off. And when it switch switch off, it connects it connects the main uh, circuit to the main battery inside. And uh, of course, the voltage are not the same. So uh, because actually this is here um, a boost converter because. This is a simple boost converter made by a very simple circuit. Also, uh, th there is a TL494, TL494 uh, integrated circuit, I think, because uh, it's uh, more sophisticated than the circuit on the market because this one is uh, a circuit working with a current, 
because it it feeds the LED on this board uh, with um, with a voltage, but it's a current regulator because LED need sometimes a current, a uh, stable current uh, to use uh, the, the the ability to make the same light for all his life. Okay, so this is just a boost converter and actually this boost converter is able to accept a wide range of voltage on the entry so if you put a 12 volt battery it uses 2 2 amp and half and if you use the 18 voltage battery like this it uses uh, just 1 amp and half so when you increase the voltage you have always the same power because the intensity will decrease on the circuit this is a, a power regulation as uh, you can found on a different circuit like this so this is uh, how this circuit uh, works and uh, it's very easy to found uh, to to found this uh, projector uh, as uh, it was at uh, as initial it's um, it's very easy because you just have to uh, remove the battery and you have the this projector working w when it uh, as the same when it was brand new actually so okay with this kind of uh, hacking if we can call it hacking you will have uh, more duty if you will have more battery like this if you have tw two battery two sets of battery like this you can switch all battery one after one to have many hours of working or oh, you are you're not to have you, you don't have especially for walking but if you make some barbecue with friends you will have some light you can use this kind of battery to uh, um, to increase the duty of this to increase the the duty of this light so it was the arc of the day uh, the first video of the year i hope uh, it will be more regular this time because uh, i was very sick uh, lastly uh, okay so uh, okay this is a hack of uh, this evening i hope you like this video until you see you soon